But mm. now, a brand new series of Emu. clean before the kids arrive. And you've got any junk it, but give us all that junk out of here and I'll store it over here. <laughs> what do you do with that in there? <laughs> Wait a minute. How much junk have you got in there? Oh, oh, oh I wonder where that was. Wait a minute. Amy, where you stuck? Ah! How'd you get that in there? Come in, I'm on for your side. What are you doing? What? Give, give us the diary. Yeah, where's the book? There, yeah, I was wondering where it was. Ah, oh, hold up. Let's have a look in here, hey? Oh, look, there's a picture of our kids. Hiya, oh, gang! <laughs> Oh, hello. You're one of the new kids, are you? Yeah. And, and you are? Tiffany. Hello, Tiffany. Well, we've got a special job. And for all of you, come on, we've got to get the place tidied oh. up. Come on. Oh. No, don't worry about it. We'll soon do it. They're back. Those brats are back. That stupid, streaky bonehead rod has gone and opened up that pink windmill again. This means war. Can't you keep this thing still? It's called a hovergrot, and it's supposed to hover. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Grotbags, your imperial chemistry set, but it doesn't seem the same since you mended it, and I wish you had mended it with bits of Redford. I didn't mend it with bits of Redford. Redford is more than happy working with his stupid robot friends in that car factory. He just left a few spare parts lying about. Seems such a shame to waste them. <laughs> but I feel as if I'm sitting on him. Oh, Redford, speak to me. Oh, belt up, you stupid walking handbag! Oh, come on, let's get back to the fortress. I want to see if my replacement has arrived. Replacement? Yes. The WI, which has incorporated my union, you know, they're sending me a new assistant. Oh, I do hope he's as nice as Redford. Redford was so good to me, so kind. Even in my darkest moments, he kept me going. Yes, well, now he's keeping the hovergrot going. Come on, let's get back! Hey, Rod! What? You never guess what we've 
did you see? Oh. The hovercraft. The hovercraft? Yeah. Oh, no. Now that means we're going to get another visit from Grot Bags. No, yeah. I don't think so. She was going the other way, mm. back to the fortress. Yeah. Probably to think up a plan and come back here and spoil all our fun. Yeah. yeah. Well, just let her think up a plan. We'll be ready for her, won't we, gang? Yeah. 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 Come on, let's get ready. Hey, Rod, who's this? That's Rod's ancestor. His great-great-great-great-great-grandfather, Good King Boggle. Good King Boggle, yeah. And we've got Boggle's history book right here about all what he did in Boggle's kingdom. Hey, gang, come and have a look. I'll show you. Ah. We'll open it any page. Thank you, Evie. Look, February the 31st, Boggle's kingdom. King Boggle and Princess Hortensia are entertaining their cousin, Prince Pauly, from Ailing. Watch on. Oh, yes. I'm feeling much better already. Oh. <laughs> this vintage fruity fizz pop of yours done me the world of good. I must say, I think it's the best you've ever made, Hort. Hortensia, cousin dear. Well, I must admit, I'm very proud of it myself this year. And do you know, I've sent bottles of it as Christmas presents to all the crowned heads in Europe. And, and we've got ten barrels in the cellar. <laughs> have you? Well, you know, if I could have two or three bottles in my room every day, a purely medicinal, of course, I'm sure in three or four days I'd get my health back. I think we should give him all the bottles, all at once, and he'd get his health back and he can go home this morning. Oh, Boggle! What'd he say? Uh, Your Majesty, Your Royal Highnesses, I thought I should come at once. A special visitor has arrived in the village from Russia, an envoy. Russia? Oh. That's foreign! Oh, yes. Ooh, quick, come on! Oh. May I present Madame Korbalalaika? Good morning! I'm Her Royal Highness, the Princess Hortensia, and this is my brother, His Majesty King Boggle. Oh! And, uh, yes, uh, this is another royal. He's staying with us for three or four days. Our cousin, Prince Paulie of Ailing. How do you do? I won't shake hands at the moment, if you don't mind. I've got very weak wrists. I am here as special envoy to Count Rosnapovnovich. Count Rosnapovnovich? Oh, the patron of the arts? The leader of the world famous Bolshe Ballet? The same. He is but one day's journey from your castle. He requests that you reserve rooms for him and uh, the entire corps de ballet. And in return, the world famous Bolshe Ballet will perform for you. Oh, the world famous Bolshe Ballet? To give a performance here in Boggle's kingdom? Oh, this is indeed an honor, isn't it, Boggle dear? Yes, she's oh, oh, my friend. Think what this will mean. Oh, at last, culture for the peasants. Well, you must tell Count Rosnapovnovich right away that he will be most welcome. Good. The Count also asked me to thank you for the wonderful gift of the fruity pizza papa which you sent him at Christmas time. He found it most delicious. And I think if you were to make him a present of, say, uh, ten barrels. Ten barrels? But that's, that's all we've got in the cellar. Yes, and I haven't had my bottles yet, for my chill, you know. I think you would find the Count a very generous man. I have known him in the past for such gifts to give a land in Siberia. Oh, land in Siberia? Siberia? Lands in Siberia. Mm. Oh, Boggle, we could start our empire. And I could get a new throne. <laughs> <laughs> well, now then, tell Count Rosnapovnovich that we are delighted and to be ready to receive a gift from us of ten barrels of vintage fruity fizz pop. Good. I return now to Count Rosnapovnovich. Yes, well, I'll see you up the road. Polly, I thought you were going to stay for three or four days. Was I? Oh, 
Yes. Oh, well, I'm feeling ever so much better now. Time I got back to ailing. <laughs> this way, madam. <laughs> Don't walk too fast. I've got the barracus. Now, um, Madame Balaclava. Cor Balalaika. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Now, about this, um, vintage fruity fizz pop of Boggle and Hortz. <laughs> well, it's not a patch on mine. No, no. They're always trying to get their hands on mine, but I won't let them have any. <laughs> That's why they keep on inviting me over. Now, <clears throat> if the Count were really interested, I could let him have ten barrels of really good stuff. Really? That is most interesting. Naturally, um, if I did, the lands in Siberia would come to me. Naturally. Well, don't forget the name. Prince Paulie of Ailing. What now? Prince Paulie has no fruity fizz pop. And what does he want with lands in Siberia? Be watching next week. And you make sure you are that hover grot before you come up here. It's got to be ready for instant action. Me lady. <laughs> You know, I was referring to you, your ladyship. <laughs> now, permit me to explain. My name is Grovel, and I have been sent by the W. High to be your new manservant, my lady. And may I say, what a pleasure it is. What a very great pleasure indeed. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. You will do admirably. You're just the person I've been looking for. Oh, I'm humbled in your presence, my lady. Absolutely humbled in your... Hark! Hark! Someone approaches. I will commence my duties at once, your ladyship. <laughs> Stop! You cannot encroach. Her ladyship is engaged. I will see if she can see you. Excuse me, your ladyship, but there's a reptile to see you. Hey, alligator! I'm not a alligator. I'm a crocodile. Ooh, I'm croc, and I live here. Who are you? This is my new assistant, Grovel. I'm sure you two will get on very well together. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Gravel. Grovel. Right, now down to work. Those brats are back. And I can't stand brats. Oh, no, a terrible lot. They are terrible. Every single one of them, yes. Some of them are all right. Oh, yes, yes, some of them are, yes. You just said they were terrible all the time. Those brats have got to see that I, Grotbags, am the nastiest, evilest, rottenest witch that ever there was. Oh, yes, nasty, rotten always, yes. You must never not let him see as how you'll never know anything else, yes. Except when I'm sweet. Oh, yes, yes, you've got to be sweet to them sometimes. Yeah. You just said she had to be nasty to them all the time. No. For instance, some of the brats who write to me, and there are hundreds of them, all wanting to be wizards and witches. Yes, some of you brats out there are worthwhile. Oh, yes, very worthwhile. Very worthwhile indeed. Very worth it. Very while. What are you talking about, you stupid great lump? Oh! <laughs> Serves you right. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 your ladyship, begging your pardon, if I may make so bold, why don't you issue a challenge? Sort of throw down a gauntlet like, eh? Your brats against them, all them other brats, what likes that hemu? A challenge? Yes, on the field of battle like. All your lot against them pinkins, and then, then we'd see who's the best, wouldn't we, eh? <laughs> eh? <laughs> oh, Grovel, oh. you're going to be such an asset to my team. Only doing my duty as a manservant, me lady. Ever loyal, ever respectful. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it all now. Yes. Emu's world battle. Oh. Well, this is where Emu's Big Battle is going to take place. As you can see, we've got two courses, both the same, one in blue, one in pink. One's for Grotbag's team and one's for our team. And we've got teams from everywhere, from different clubs and organisations. And they, the first member of the team, has to run over a bridge of four tyres and then dive through these three hoops and then run back and tap the second member of the team. 
they have to do the same. The third member of the team has to do the same, but with the addition of clambering up that at the very end there to pick up either a pink hat or a witch's hat to see who's won. It all sounds simple, but it's not as simple as all that, as you'll see in Emu's Big Battle. <laughs> Oh, like oh, don't you touch my team. Don't you speak place, to me, you Place call. everybody up front, Come my here, team, because my team comes from the St Andrews School at Cheltenham and consists... Oh, yeah? Well, whatever it is, yes. And consists of Caroline, Rufus and Sarah. Right, what about and I've your got team? the Stonehouse gang from Birmingham. Oh. Here we have Kerry, Junior and Peter. And he's... Get off, Emu. He's been training. Right. Show him your muscles. Well, let's get going. Yeah! Who's our number ones? Our number ones already. Are we ready? Right. right. Let battle commence. Go! Assault course, yes, yeah. and I personally will come down and test the tyres. <laughs> well done, Brett. We win a game. <laughs> oh, we are the champions. 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 Oh, well, we didn't do very well then, did we, Emu? But we might win next week. So why don't you join us next week for the battle and everything that goes on right here in Emu's World. Let's go, dear.